Tip Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Now today we're going to be looking at creating an isometric grid at any angle uh, that you choose within Illustrator and then exporting that to work in Photoshop or any other program that you really want to use within the Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, so first things first, you want to get yourself a nice thin line. Uh, I find 0.2 um, points or pixels works well. And then you want to basically draw a straight line holding shift to make it perfectly vertical um, at the size that you want it to be. Now, <clears throat> if you select that line and make sure you've got your transform tools open, what we want is to turn this singular line into basically two sides of um, a square because isometric grids are made up of um, different squares that represent cubes. Now, the way you want to do that is um, the standard sort of uh, angle of rotation that you have in isometric view is 30 degrees. So if you push one of these to 30 using the rotation um, tool inside the transform panel, you can see that we get one line which is exactly 30 degrees. Now, you can in fact copy by hitting Control C or um, coming up to the edit menu and copy and then paste in place. And what that does is it puts something exactly on top of the other. Now, I know the degree that the, is the exact reverse of that, and that's actually 150. Um, and you can see that gives us a little X. Now, if you don't know the exact reverse, all you need to do is come up to object, hit transform and reflect and make sure that it's on the vertical axes because you're reflecting vertically uh, and at 90 degrees and just hit OK, and that'll flip it exactly for you. Um, but the reverse of 30 is 150. And for example, the reverse of 15 will be 165. You just take whatever your initial angle is and subtract that from 180, which is obviously the flip um, angle of it. And that gives you the reverse. Now, each X is going to be the size of each increment on your grid in this technique. So if you imagine when we actually create this grid, um, it will be the size of the X for each square. So if we put two next to each other, you can start to see what I mean. Each one of the squares on the grid will be the size of two of these um, segment paths here. So what you want to actually do is scale it down to the point where you think you're going to be comfortable working in that. Now, obviously, you can you can mark from halfway along the line, things like that. That's completely up to you. But to be honest, I think that's probably about the right size um, from a guesstimate point of view. Then simply all you have to do is make sure you've got your X selected and drag it over to the swatches panel. And you'll see you'll get a little plus button release and you'll get a new pattern swatch. Then if you delete what you have on stage, <clears throat> zoom out so you can see absolutely everything. You want to make sure your stroke is on nothing and your fill is on the pattern swatch that you just created. Then if you just drag a square that is the size of your um, canvas, make sure that it lines up perfectly and selects a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels and let go. And that's exactly it. That's all you need to do to create a, a isometric, isometric sorry, uh, perspective grid inside of Illustrator. Now, say we wanted to um, use this inside of Photoshop, we can do that too. If we just save this, as um, you can see, I've already made a one before, so we'll call this one isometric grid. Uh, let's overwrite the old one actually and just hit yes. So you want to hit that and save okay. That saves it as an Illustrator file. Then, if you open up Photoshop CC, um, what you can do is actually drag directly that Illustrator file into Photoshop. Uh, if you want to work in Illustrator, then great, you're good to go. But if you want to work in Photoshop, you don't even have to create a new document. You can just bring up um, a the version of your file on your hard drive, which I'll just do now off screen um, in this channel. Simply click and drag from your folder. Um, hello, Phoebe. Sorry, that was my cat meowing then. She's announcing to the house that she's back from outside. Um, she probably wants feeding. Um, so you want to drop it into... Um, uh, Photoshop um, and you want to make sure that these settings are correct otherwise it, it, on sort of zoomed out views it can look um, quite crap as it's trying to put sort of a 4000 pixel wide illustrator file into Photoshop um, so you just want to make sure that the width and height is the same size as your illustrator and that the resolution is 72 because the default import is 300 when it because it basically imports it as a PDF um, you want the bit depth to be 8 that's fine just hit OK and bam there you go You've got a grid inside of Photoshop. There's actually an image. Um, so if you want to see that, you can just have a color in the background. And you can see that the grid overlays it. Then simply follow these lines for every isometric pattern that you want to create. Say, for example, I've got this line here. And let's just have it be yellow to stand out. Uh, and I wanted to draw a cube. You just go up three segments. Um, 
Let's make the stroke. Uh, what color do we want the stroke to be? Um, let's have oops, our stroke be yellow so we can see it. Um, so to draw a perfect cube, you just have three segment boxes up, three segments along, three up, and then join that up here, and then follow it the other way for three segments, and then again, and then again. And as you can see, it just makes life so much easier to work from an isometric grid. Um, now, you can create grids like this directly in Photoshop, but they are a bit finickety. Um, I find it's better to build them inside Illustrator with the pattern swatch tool. So I hope that's uh, been useful for you. Um, if it has, great, consider subscribing. I'm going to be doing a full isometric art tutorial next. So uh, stick around if you want to see that. Okay, thanks very much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.